Greetings and salutations, YouTubers. This is Zillafan85. Today, back with another video, and yes, it is uh, figures, but it's not really a figure review this time. Uh, I actually wanted to do something a little bit different, uh, since we are, of course, gearing up this week for the release of Avengers Infinity War, which for me, at least, is arguably the movie of the year. The, this is the one that I'm really looking forward to the most. I mean, there are going to be some other uh, good ones coming out, uh, i.e. Deadpool 2, uh, kind of skeptically looking forward to uh, the Solo Han, uh, Han Solo uh, Star Wars story movie. We'll see how that goes. Um, this uh, track of uh, recent Star Wars movies have been suspect, to say the least. But anyway, though, this movie, though, I am I am so stoked about. Um, I absolutely cannot wait for it to come out. Uh, you know, and of course, we'll be going to the early premiere Thursday night. Uh, and, and just so geared up. So I wanted to go ahead and... Uh, actually bring out my uh, my personal collection of Marvel figures. Uh, I don't have a ton of them, um, you know, but I do have the ones that I did collect over the years, and I just thought it'd be kind of fun to, uh, to have them get together uh, as we anticipate the movie uh, being released this week. Um, and it's just going to be great to see such an eclectic uh, collection of so many Marvel characters. I'm just hoping they all uh, get at least ample amount of screen time. But, you know, of course, we'll find out. So, um, again, not really going to do a review. Just kind of here. Uh, thought this would just be a fun thing to do. Uh, just to get the, the uh, figures together as sort of an ode or homage to, uh, um, to the release, uh, the upcoming release of the Avengers. Infinity War. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick little look at some of the figures that I do have. Um, first off, my my personal favorite of the uh, of Marvel anyways, uh, that being Captain America. Look at Cap there. Uh, I got two different versions of, of him. Uh, this one was more like a I think like a fast food uh, cheapy kind of kind of one, uh, but it's still kind of cool nonetheless. Uh, he's doing a sort of weird pose there, but uh, uh, then this one, um, which is, as you can see uh, with some of the other figures that I do have from Marvel, uh, were more from the um, uh, from the 2000 release, or excuse me, 2012 release of the event of the uh, first of the Avengers films, uh, and obviously got just got so hyped for it at the time uh, that I wanted to build up my Marvel collection, or at least somewhat build it up and get a good selection from the characters that did appear in the movie. So, uh, so we got this version of Captain America. Him I really like. Uh, he's got his shield, of course. They both do, but this one I, I just like so much better obviously uh and then of course behind him we got uh, we got Mr. Iron Man and uh he's looking looking pretty dapper there with his armor next to him we've of course got Thor again the MCU Thor and he's got his hammer there his cape on him and the cape does uh uh, it does come off. I'm not going to mess with them too much as I actually had a hard time getting them all uh, standing and some of them, their accessories uh, were kind of tricky dealing with, but um, but still cool nonetheless. Uh, then another one of my personal favorites, uh, uh, the Incredible Hulk. The Hulk, yes sir, boss. And uh, he's looking pretty, pretty tough there. Uh, definitely liking his design. They, um, all these from the MCU designs that I got, uh, I got most of them from Toys R Us. They're actually uh, pretty, pretty decent. I mean, not, not super deep, not you know, super one hundred percent accurate detail, but they're still pretty good, and, and they were pretty affordable when I got them. Um, but anyways, then we've got the more, uh, comic book version of the Hulk behind him. That one I've had, uh, for, for many, many moons. Uh, yeah, since I was a kid, I've had, I've had that guy back there and I'm not even a hundred percent sure where he came from. I think somebody, um, somebody I went to school with might've given him to me or something like that. Uh, he doesn't do a whole lot either. You know, he kind of 
grows to epic proportions, I guess you could say, when you do that. The, uh, yeah, look at him grow. Awesome. Anyway, so moving along. Uh, and towards the back here, of course, we've got, uh, we've got, um, the Black Widow, and she's got her, uh, her guns out there. Uh, sons don't have to be out for the guns to be out for her. <laughs> you know, she can, uh, you know, she can rock and roll with those. And then, of course, um, our other, uh, other friend back there, Mr. Hawkeye. And, uh, excuse me, Hawkeye, unfortunately... Dropping some of these here. I apologize. Anyway, so we got Mr. Hawkeye back there. And he's got a uh, crossbow instead of his traditional bow and arrow uh, for uh, reasons. Um, I do know that, that uh, the uh, cinematic version was more based on the Ultimate Avengers uh, of... Um, of Hawkeye, the Ultimate Avengers design, so I, I get that, um, you know, although, we got him with this mask here, let's see if we can get in on that, yeah, a little bit, yeah, but I, I do, um, I do prefer the more, uh, the more classic, uh, version of Hawkeye, though, I, I will say with the traditional, uh, suit from the comic books and, and whatnot, uh, with the mask and everything, you know, because even if it's as Sheldon Cooper said, you know, no one ever, no one ever yells help Hawkeye, you know, but at least I prefer his more traditional comic book, um, outfit, but this still is still not too bad, so I kind of like it. And then next to him, we've got, uh, Captain Britain, and he's looking, looking pretty cool there with his sword. And then next to him, I've got, uh, yeah, I know this guy's kind of beat up, and yes, I do have a stapler uh, behind him because he won't stand on his own, uh, and that being uh, Wolverine, and that is the uncanny X-Men version of Wolverine, he's a rubbery type figure, I'm not going to mess with him too much, I've already dropped a few of these guys here. Um, wish his, his claws were out instead of being retracted, and... I can't really help this pose that he's in. I've tried to move the arms. They just, uh, I don't know if something happened with the bendy wires or what the deal is there. But, uh, yeah, so he's just kind of in that pose like he wants to give you a hug or something. Um, then in front of him, the guy who started the uh, the domino falling effect, uh, Spider-Man. And that is the uh, amazing Spider-Man version. Uh, again, I got him around the same time as I got some of these... Uh, other um, figures which were from the MCU. Of course, uh, Amazing Spider-Man movies were done by Fox, but um, yeah, I'm just saying I got them all around the same time. Next to him, we got uh, Magneto looking pretty cool there. Yeah, again, um, that one I've had a very, very long time since I was a kid, um, but he's, he's not too bad. He's got the uh, cloth cape, which I always liked. And his uh, helmet does come off. I don't know if I can kind of uh, mess with him a bit. Yeah, he's got a lot of a lot of white hair, gray hair. Whoops! All right, old timer, I'm gonna put your helmet back on. Okay. So, uh, anyways, while I get him set up, then we'll take a quick look though at. Uh, at the ever loving thing. So, from Fantastic Four, yep, uh, the one Fantastic Four figure that I do have, but out of the various members of the Fantastic Four, he was uh, always my uh, my personal favy fave. He was my favorite from them, so I had to make sure I got him at some point. And he's pretty cool. Again, the one uh, one of the figures that I've had uh, since I was a kid. So. Uh, but still, you know, pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool, so, this is my Marvel collection, let me get sit back up here, sorry for some of the, uh, not everything working out 100% with some of the figures falling and all, uh, I am trying to do this in one take, though, of course, um, that's what I prefer, but, uh, nonetheless, I just kind of wanted to, um, to get my Marvel figures kind of gathered together again in anticipation of the movie coming out this week, uh, which I'm really, really excited about. 
of course, we finally get to see uh, uh, Thanos uh, as the uh, in that big slot as the main villain. So, yeah, just a lot to look forward to with this film. Like I said, I really, really can't wait. So, and uh, really not much else I can say about it, but, yeah. So, hey, wait a second. Dark side? What are you doing here? Well, I just figured, since I was not placed within the theatrical release of the Justice League, that maybe the Marvel Cinematic Universe might give me a chance to get some screen time. Well, you know, I, I appreciate where you're coming from there, sir. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I was, certainly seemed like, like they were building to you to be the villain and not Steppenwolf. Um, you know, uh, but I hate to burst your bubble here. Uh, you're a DC character, and, uh, you know, unless um, unless they ever decide to do a crossover film, I just, I don't think it's in the cards. You know, I, I apologize about that, but uh, not much you can do there. Yeah, I don't, I mean, don't look, don't look too sad, though. I mean, uh, Maybe eventually uh, the DCEU will get their act together. I mean, they did release Wonder Woman, which I thought was a really good film. So maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll come around, and you know, unless they reboot the whole thing, you know, who knows at this point what what Warner Brothers is doing. But uh, yeah, I do apologize, you know. But hey, the other thing is Marvel's already got their own version of you, anyways, essentially with uh, with Thanos. So you know, I apologize, man, but. Just hang in there, okay, Darkseid? I have a feeling one day, uh, one day you will, you will, let me give you a pat on the back here, sir, yeah. One day you will, uh, you will shine as a big-time villain. I, I have faith, okay? All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, man. Hey, before you go, give me, give me a fist bump, will you? Come on, now. All right, Mr. Overlord. Cool, awesome, awesome. All right, dark side, hang in there. All right, sorry about that, folks. Anyway, well, that about wraps this uh, this session up here. Uh, yeah, other than uh, dark side's little um, uh, party crashing that he did, but yeah, I feel for him though. I would really love to see DC get their act together because I'm a big time DC fan, and it'd be great to uh, uh, to see. Um, if they did uh, make another Justice League movie, which I don't, I, I'm very skeptical about after hearing everything I've heard, but it would just be, I would really love to see him as the main villain. Anyway, like I said, that does about wrap it up, though. Again, uh, can't wait for the release of Avengers Infinity War this week. If any of you are anticipating it as well, please feel free to comment. Um, you know, I always enjoy um, uh, talking to people, especially fellow fans. Uh, but until next time, though, I do thank you so much for watching. And uh, just remember, folks, you be good to yourselves. And sayonara.